Blood gas monitoring is similar to adults where the arterial pH is the single best index of acid-base status in the body. Indications for blood gas monitoring include to assess the patient's ventilation and oxygenation as well as their acid-base status and to evaluate the patient's response to therapy. Possible causes of errors is heparin dilution in the syringe and air in the sample, venous admixture, temperature, and metabolism. You'll see here there's a table showing the normal blood gases for a premature infant, that being less than 28 weeks gestation, to an adult, that being greater than 19 years of age. Remember immediately and shortly after birth, the pH is going to normally be a little acidotic and the CO2 might be a little bit elevated, but as um, beyond 24 hours, the pH will normalize and so will the CO2. Very similar to adults. However, with neonates, remember our PaO2 range is going to be lower. Um, different methods for obtaining arterial blood gases include an indwelling umbilical artery catheter, an indwelling periphery artery catheter, or an arterial puncture. And usually in our neonates, we want to avoid doing a puncture because as they cry and get upset that can change their blood gas values. So usually a, a catheter of some sort either in the umbilical or peripheral is the ideal place to draw a blood gas. Capillary blood gas sampling is the preferred route to draw gases for pediatrics. Capillary blood gas, remember, can be drawn from the heel or the sides of the tips of the fingers or toes. Um, the oxygen values in capillary gases are not accurate with arterial samples, so we do not rely on the capillary gas to um, adjust our oxygen. But the ventilation is very accurate. So anytime we're really concerned about the ventilation of a pediatric, it's best to get a capillary blood gas because we can use the pulse oximeter to accurately trend the oxygen level. So for ventilation in pediatrics, a cap gas or capillary blood gas is the ideal method for assessing ventilation. For assessing oxygenation in a pediatric, the pulse oximetry is the preferred method. Now in neonates, um, if they have an arterial catheter in place, the arterial blood gas is the ideal method for assessing both oxygenation and ventilation. Um, some sampling errors that can occur include inadequate warming of the site, clots forming within the tubing, excessive squeezing or milking when obtaining the cap gas, and exposure of blood to the air during sampling. Aside from this, again, capillary get blood gases are the preferred method for assessing ventilation in pediatrics. Pulse oximetry is a preferred method for assessing oxygenation in pediatrics. For neonates, when an arterial catheter is in place, arterial blood gas sampling is the best method for assessing both oxygenation and ventilation. However, if you do not have an arterial catheter in place, then for a neonate, a cap gas to assess ventilation would be appropriate, and a pulse oximeter for assessing oxygenation would be appropriate.